Bushy. We got married in a fever, hotter than a pepper sprout. We've been talking about Jackson ever since the fire went out. I'm going to Jackson, I'm going to mess around. Yeah, I'm going to Jackson, look out Jackson town. It is Wednesday morning and very good news. There is what, three inches of new snow up on the mountain before it's going to turn to rain again. We've had a pretty dismal ski year, uh, but Jack and I are gonna head up and see if we can catch the storm just right. And we thought we'd bring you along. So you got everything loaded up? I think so. Show me. All right, it's two sets of skis, two sets of boots. Uh, where are the poles at? The poles are right over there. Okay, I think we're good. 39 degrees on the homestead. Should be a whole lot colder when we get up into some elevation. Jack, we don't have time to go to our favorite breakfast spot. Can you order some uh, McDonald's sandwiches? Sure. One of the downsides to having a Sprinter with a really tall roof, or a Transit, is you can't fit through the drive through Thankfully, McDonald's has a really good app. <laughs> You've used the app before, right, Jack? Mm -hmm. So you park right here. Mobile Kurt's curbside, and you order on your phone, and they bring it out to you perfect or very quickly. What oh, says start a new order? No. Sandwich. Okay, I got it. That was so fast. <laughs> Have a good day. Have a good day. What are you looking at me for? It's time for a baked apple pie. Mm hmm. I agree. Can you hook me up? Sure. take what we ha got here or should we go see if we can get something closer up front so here's the secret with skiing you don't go on the weekends and you come midweek and you get up here right around 12 o'clock 12 30 when everyone's going home that way you have the smallest crowds and the best parking when do we dive in Jack um, what do you think? how's here right right here this one Ooh, this would be nice wouldn't it Your eyes peeled. Oh, Subaru just pulled out. We are in. to walk in but modern ones have a walk feature now which is so wonderful you go down to ski and up to walk or hike that way you can uh, have a little bit more flexibility have a, a much much less likely to take a digger in the parking lot so ski helmets are a little bit different well it's just, isn't it funny how a few years ago like, even when I was younger you could just buy like what there was one helmet for everything it's like you get a protect Pro plastic protect helmet and that was your biking helmet and your alpine helmet and your rock climbing helmet and now everything's so specialized but ski helmets have become have come a long ways um, and they're a little bit different than any other helmet in that they have uh, first off they have a, a place to keep your goggles right mm -hmm. on the back here so they'll typically have like a little bungee cord deal right here like that and then a groove for your goggles so that they don't slip off 
And the other thing is that they, many of them have vents on them. Look at that. Isn't that cool? A honeycomb in there. And that opens, these are vents. So when you get hot, you can open those up and it makes a big difference. It gets some airflow through the helmet. I think Jack and I are gonna call it a day. It is, uh, we had a good time, but it's we're getting into some freezing rain. You can't hardly keep the goggles clear. You need some, some heated goggles with the frosters on them. I don't think that's a thing. Not yet. Maybe with, tomorrow. With lithium batteries, you think that that would be available. All right, did you have a good time? Mm-hmm. Are you cold or you warm? I'm okay. Get back in there somewhere. All right, well, let's head out and we'll, uh, actually, let's go inside and we'll get a cup of hot chocolate, warm up a little bit, and then we'll head out. Okay. Best things in life is when you take your ski boots off. And put your twice as hard clogs. And put your put your wonderful your street shoes on. Are you standing comfortably, sir? I am standing comfortably. It looks like you're lying comfortably. I am. Well, it's gonna be the shortest nap in the world because we gotta head out. Yeah. Your your seat. You are the one that changed it. All right. Uh, let. I think we're gonna have a very slippery ride back home yeah, with all this freezing okay. rain. What? What is this? I guess that's the next best thing right there. I love the fact that it's frozen. You know what, Jack? You do what you have to do to get the job done. I've I've done worse than that. And we are. Off, as your great great granddad used to say when we left to go hunting, he'd say, "We're off like a dirty shirt every year." That was really fun, Jack. Thanks for coming with me. So here is the here's where we're going to be camping. So this is cool. I should let me, let me mention this here really quick. 
one of the main reasons we want to get the van sorted out here. So, right here in the parking lot is a, um, there are spots for RVs. So a lot of people will come up like on Friday and uh, camp right here in the evening and it's the same group of people. Now, some of them I know, so everyone gets together and they have dinner together and they play cards and stuff and then you can like come here Friday night and then wake up more uh, Saturday morning and, uh, and go skiing. Uh, before all the crowds come in here and get the first track so kind of a cool little thing. I can't wait to do that We need to get the furnace hooked up so we can do that mm -hmm.